Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Jasmine McCoy and I am the International Second Vice President of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. So, welcome to the third video in the series about all of the regional conferences that I am going to. This one is for the Midwestern Regional Conference and I had a great time. It was fantastic. Yeah, I'm just going to go through what it is that happened on each of those days starting off with Friday. On Friday, we had plenary one, plenary two, that's what it always is. And then we had another undergraduate kickback. So if you remember from the last video, I went to the undergraduate kickback for the far Western region. Great time, I won an Amazon Echo Dot, yay. And I went into this one saying, okay, I've already won something before. I don't need to win anything at every single undergraduate kickback. That's not what I want. I don't want that. I don't want to win a prize at every regional conference because I don't want to take anything from the undergraduates of the region. So I'm like, I'm just coming out here to play. I'm just out here to have fun. And I get there and they have a lot of undergraduates there. I'm saying, hi, hello. They recognize me as the international second vice president. And we have four games that we were playing. So I'm sitting there thinking, oh, okay, we got lots of opportunities for people to win because you have to win the game in order to get a prize. And they had prizes for Chick-fil-A. You know, we love Chick-fil-A. Star, not Starbucks, Subway. I love Subway and Grubhub and then some uh, AKA necklaces. So all great prizes. So here I am looking at all of the different games that we can play. One of them is Name That Tune. Another one is uh, being able to recognize the opening theme song of a black sitcom. And then another one was AKA History and the last one was a scavenger hunt. Here I am thinking, okay, I know some music, I know some black sitcoms, I know my AKA history, and I will try my best at the scavenger hunt. I had a lot of trouble. I had so much trouble with the, um, with the name that tune and the um, naming the black sitcoms. I struggled. And at one point I gave a, I just put out a guess because that's what you do, we guess. Apparently it was a very bad guess. It was um, Whitney Houston. No, it couldn't have been Whitney Houston because I know Whitney Houston, but it was someone, Aaliyah, I think. And I call, and I, my guess was Fantasia. And they were like, are you serious, Jasmine? And I was like, am I about to get my black card revoked? Um, I think I got my black card revoked multiple times that night. And I was just having a fun time. There were some things I did know though. There were some things I knew, but I did have a lot of trouble on the uh, name that tune of R&B songs from the 90s and the 2000s. And then in the black sitcoms, I'm not going to say I had trouble with that one. All, but what I will say is that there were some people that were just going super, super fast. Like you hadn't even been playing the opening theme song of the black sitcom for more than half a second and already they know and already they have it typed in. So I'm sitting there thinking either they just know these sitcoms, like they know them, they know them. They eat, sleep, and breathe these sitcoms, but I'm just sitting there going, oh wow, so you all are really into these. And they were, everyone has their things, because if they were asking about Cartoon Network Nickelodeon shows from the 2000s onward, I would have been all over that. But the fact that they were asking about black sitcoms from the 80s and 90s had me going, um... I will just sit back and watch on this one. So I still had a great time. And then on the AKA, do you know your AKA history, Kahoot? I'm so mad with myself. I am so mad with myself. The question was, when was AKA founded? And it's January 15th, 1908. I know that. 
um, my thumb was not cooperating and it selected February 15th, 1908. So then I, I was messed up for the entire game because it was just 15 questions. I knew every single one of the questions, but because I messed up on that one, one question, there was no way I could win. So tears, but I still really enjoyed being able to be a part of that Kahoot game. And I did not end up in last place. I ended up in second to last place. So there, I have that going for me. But the last thing, the scavenger hunt, they had so many things. And I'm going to put up the list now so you can see some of the things that they had us go and get. One of the things was an ironing board. You best believe I went upstairs and brought the ironing board downstairs. Another one of them was a yoga mat and some dumbbells. I have that down here in the basement. Got that, brought it over. I was going up and down the steps, up and down the steps, just making sure that I was getting as much stuff as I could on my phone because they gave us 10 minutes. At the end of the 10 minutes, we all come back. They ask us to say how many points we got. I got 18 points and another person got 18 points. So then they said, okay, we have a tiebreaker. Go and bring something that starts with the letter Q. So I bought this quilted AKA blanket back and I won, Hey! But then I said, I don't want it. Give it to someone within the region. Just give me the bragging rights. Give the prize to the, to the person I tied with that also got 18 points, but I want the bragging rights because that's what really matters. And I just had a great time at the undergraduate kickback. Then we also had the public meeting and I got to spend some time in, because I'm a VSG, I like that VSG status. Um, I got to go and spend some time in the regional director's suite. In the regional director's suite, you get to have time with the regional director, Twyla Woods Buford, and the other nine regional directors. Also, you get this special time with the people that put the regional conference together. And this conference was put together by Cluster C. So you get to see how much they truly love what it is that they've put together. You get to see them be happy, prideful, and just thankful for the regional conference and how it's going. And I think one of the most beautiful thing is that they always thank technology committee first. And in a virtual world, that is definitely what needs to happen. It also always happens even when we're in person because technology is a very important part of regional conferences. But in this virtual world, the first people that they always think is the technology committee. And I just love to see it, love to see it. Then on Saturday, that's when we give the UAC presentation. Again, it was a nice intimate conversation that we got to have with the undergraduates of the Midwestern region. And I went to the photo booth in my nice black and pearls. I also went to the, the semi-formal gala that was very nice. They had wonderful presentations. You got to see everyone getting their awards. I also spoke at the undergraduate celebration. So I was the keynote for the undergraduate celebration. That felt very good. I liked being able to congratulate the undergraduates on a job well done because undergraduates really do work hard. We try to get as much done and as much impact in our three years that we're part of the sorority as undergraduates. So I really liked being able to deliver that keynote address and wish them well. We finished up on Sunday with the ecumenical service and they did a great job putting together that program. They had fantastic singers and uh, musical instrument players, musicians, that's the word. So they were fantastic. And then the preacher, she gave a fantastic sermon. She was just killing it, moving. You could hear her passion through the word. And that was the end of the Midwestern Regional Conference, the 91st Midwestern Regional Conference. So this upcoming week, I will be going to the Mid-Atlantic Regional Conference. You can expect another video about that, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!